What are you doing, Berlin? Let me get a Lego set. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do finger foods. And what are we gonna teach our viewers? How to make a charcuterie board. How to what? Make a charcuterie board. And what is that? A platter with meat and cheese. A good job. How to decorate one. All right, so you're gonna help me? Yeah. After you're done. With bag two. With bag two of Iron Man. Legos. Got it. So, hey, Chris and Iron Man. Hey, Chris and Iron Man. What are we making? Charcuterie board. Because why? Yeah. New Year's Eve. For New Year's Eve, and we eat these a lot anyway. We do the meats and cheeses and that. But we are going to make a pretty board today. A couple pretty boards today. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rowan, what are you going to work on besides eating all the almonds? Um, salami roses. Salami roses, and Berlin is going to start helping me lay stuff out on boards, and Grayson's opening containers. <laughs> we went to Costco, and Larry and I picked up meats and cheeses and grapes and nuts and all sorts of stuff. So here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so we started off with olives and nuts, and we've got those in bowls. We've got another bowl. Rowan's gonna be using this one to build some little salami roses to put on here. And all you do is just layer the salami around and around and then you flip it over and pull the design out. Yeah. And then Berlin, I'm gonna have you put some mustard and some honey in this one. And we're gonna put dip in the salami one here when you're done. Regular or Dijon? Dijon mustard sounds really good. Then you put some honey on top of it, okay? And Grayson's still opening. She's got, we bought some cheese that was pre-cut here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful. It's just Dijon mustard and honey that you can dip into. All right, she's still working on the first rose. You're gonna make like three of these, I think. It's That's been like 30 it. seconds since you last video, and of course I'm still working. <laughs> All right, so Berlin, I've got some cranberry cinnamon goat cheese. I want you to put that in the center of the board. Ready to flip? Sure. Okay. All right, you flip your rows. <laughs> you can do it. There you go. So pretty. All right. Now where's this going? Like right here. <laughs> Don't move it, Rowan. Okay. Oh no, three pieces falling. Now you got to make another one for this tray because mm. we're making two two trays of these. That looks okay. so cute really nice okay so now we've got a rose of salami we've got some cheddar and Havarti cheese slices nuts this is the right here goat cheese with cranberries on it we've got some olives and some honey and mustard on this platter and then we're gonna add some crackers into here and some grapes now this one we're still working on and we'll get this one done and then we'll have both trays finished now what's really nice about this is you don't have to have the same things as everyone else. You can pick and choose what you like. Um, so what what did you just pour in there? You poured some gourmet olives that have garlic and herb that you've been eating all day. Yes. And so you can pick and choose what you want on these. It's very, very simple. You can do a whole vegetable platter style, which we'll be doing a vegetable platter as well. But it's just finger food snacks for yourself um, to enjoy. And you can do, like I said, anything. Rowan, what are you doing with that turkey? Putting it on the tray. But you're just kind of rolling it up into little balls, well, little turkey balls. Hard. Turkey's hard to get out of the package. Yeah, and this is just some oven roasted lunch meat turkey that we picked up at Costco. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making it nice and, nice and pretty and decorative, and then we'll just refill the trays as we need to today. Yes? Mm -hmm. hey, Roy, so what did you do on your first tray? Ripped crackers, cheddar cheese. Don't remember this name. Artichoke and jalapeno dip. Almond, almonds, garlic, herb, and olive oil. Okay. Grapes, salami, turkey. Perfect. And then what do we do on the big veggie tray one? It has meat too, but it's oh, got veggies. Um, celery, turkey. That's wine a cheese. wine cheese. Wine cheese, bell peppers, meat sticks, cucumbers, broccoli, grapes, cranberries, ranch dip, crackers, cheddar. I don't remember this cheese. I only know cheddar, apparently. 
<laughs> green beans. No. No, green. Sweet peas. Sweet peas. Um, yeah, and then there's some Cordray cranberries oh. in there. And um, and then there's the, the prosciutto. Right the prosciutto, and the, yeah. These are actually the salami. There's the prosciutto right there. Um, yummy. And what about the third tray we did? Um, honey, mustard, olives, rich crackers, cheddar cheese. Havarti. Oh, no, that one's Havarti. Havarti. So that's Havarti. Um, salami, mixed nuts, cranberry, goat cheese, and grapes. And then the, the prosciutto. prosciutto. Yeah, prosciutto. Yummy. See you guys, these are really super easy to put together and you can put virtually anything you already have in your refrigerator, like the mustard and the honey and the olives. You can add pickles into this. You can add chunks of chocolate. We did not. You can add any fruits and vegetables that you've got. You can make breakfast ones with little mini waffles. I know we just saw a picture on yeah, that. It looks that. really good. It's I think so we're going to do that. Um, we had cut up fruits and strawberries and mm -hmm. syrup and stuff. Um, but you can do cheeses and meats only if you'd like where you can do veggies. So super easy, charcuterie boards are really fun and they're a fast, super fast. Are you stealing off the charcuterie board already? No, there was a no. right just randomly on the counter. So you needed totally. it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you say to our viewers? Like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Subscribe? Subscribe? Subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. <laughs> we love you, Grayson. We'll see you on the next video, you guys. Bye for now. Bye.